Today is a beautiful day in more ways than one, but the beautiful weather, wow, reminds me of what Eileen used to say on days like today, that this is a day in Donegal that you will remember and think about when you're at home in January and February and it's cold and it's wet and it's miserable. I love you. True love is a sacred flame that burns eternally and none can dim its special glow or change its destiny. True love speaks in tender tones and hears with a gentle ear. True love gives with open heart and true love conquers fear. True love makes no harsh demands. It neither rules nor binds. And true love holds with gentle hands the heart that it entwines. Fiona, you're a truly beautiful bride today. <laughs> Get him out. Um, me, me and Ross, all group was the, and Connor group was the three brothers without a sister. Um, and today we're so excited and proud to, to finally have a sister, so. <laughs> it's very appropriate, I think, that we celebrate this wedding in the most beautiful county in Ireland, uh, Donegal. I think that uh, Donegal has made a lasting impression on Fiona and has since become a big part of her life. And I'm sure it will continue to be a big part of her life with Connor in the future. And needless to say, in, with incredible pride that I accompanied her from Chuck Rendon this morning uh, to Dunlewy for her wedding. Look, Connor and Fiona, they've been together now over a decade and um, Margaret and I are delighted to welcome Fiona into our family. It's Can I say as well, just that you look absolutely fabulous today, and you know, um, and also um, we were there in the front row, we had the front row seats, and it was, uh, you, you know, you could see the happiness, the joy, the togetherness, and all between the two of you on the altar, and it was, it was lovely to see, it was really lovely to see. Just over the years, uh, they've been great friends, and we've seen it blossoming as the years have gone on but I, I certainly feel their time in Australia um, cemented their relationship together as a couple but um, while they were in, in, in Australia Margaret and myself remember um, talking to Fiona's mum Eileen and she said how well suited they were and how happy they were together and that we're going to have great days ahead with the pair of them and we know this is one of those days and I wish the two of them all the best of health and happiness for the future. Have a great life in your lovely home in Donabate. And just remember, anybody who gets an invite out, just keep off the grass. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'd like to... I'd like to... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to raise a toast for the bride and groom. Connor and Fiona is a love affair, I suppose, that stretches back to when they were still in secondary school. They went through all their college years together. They were fortunate to spend over a year together in Australia before deciding to settle down, including a stretch in the outback where Fiona minded children and Connor worked on a farm. So if you need a fence put up, <laughs> Connor is your man. Connor is your man. He can string a fence, no problem. Connor is warmly welcomed into the inner sanctum of the Meehan family. You're, you're a member now, you're, you're in. What, what to say about Connor, but that he is a great credit to his parents, uh, Ken and Margaret. And to Ken and Margaret, I would paraphrase something my father once said, uh, which was that if young people like Connor and Fiona are getting together and deciding to make a life together and a commitment to each other, then Ken and Margaret, Peter and Eileen, we did something right in our lives. I'm delighted to have the honour uh, of, of being Connor's best man at the wedding today. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for being here, um, especially those of you who knew I was going to be saying a few words and still decide to show up. <laughs> I'll never forget when Connor was born, and my mum told me I had to share all my belongings with my little baby brother. This proceeded to two decades of my most treasured belongings regularly being stolen. 
Um, this was probably right up until his late teens when his taste in clothing became a lot more expensive and stylish than my own. I think on my stag, Jay Wickham um, pointed something out that was uh, that was very apt, I think, um, by saying that uh, Connor is the most bougie member of our family. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he did not like that. They say every great man needs a great woman. And of course, every great woman needs a great man. Fiona and Connor, um, you've always supported each other no matter what. I now speak on behalf of myself and everyone here today, um, including family and friends that will always be there for Fiona and Connor during their married life together. I really mean that. I Connor take you Fiona as my wife. I Connor take you Fiona as my wife. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of our life. All the days of our life. I Fiona take you Connor as my husband. I Fiona take you Connor as my husband. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of our life. All the days of our life. So what God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you with his blessings. So you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona, wear this ring. Fiona, wear this ring. As a sign of our faithful love. As a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Connor, wear this ring. Connor, wear this ring. As a sign of our faithful love. As a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We've been together, uh, me and Fiona have been together for over 12 years. Some may say this day is long overdue. In December 2019, um, I asked Fiona to marry me up here in Donegal. Uh, and who knew at that stage our lives had changed so much over the next few years. But looking here now, it makes it so much more special that we're all here for a nice occasion, all together, and we can celebrate together. So it's really nice to look around and for us all to be together. To the bridal party, thank you so much, guys. You're such great friends. You've been such a great support to us over the years. And thanks for all your help in planning and, and organising today and for getting Fiona's veil when it blew away, <laughs> getting her through the bogs of Donegal, but thank you so much for everything. Uh, and to the girls for getting Fiona down the aisle today. Ten minutes late, that's good going. I'll take that. <laughs> I would have taken that this morning, so yeah, thank you so much. And also a special mention to, uh, to our wonderful page boy and flower girl, uh, James and Evelyn. <laughs> Did a great job. You did a great job leading the way, so big thank you to you both for making our day so special. Thank you. So it took me uh, a couple of years to pluck up the courage to, uh, to ask Fiona out on a date. So a third year we had a, what would you call it, Fiona? Brief romance? <laughs> How did it go? 
So after one week, I was dubbed. <laughs> It was, uh, it was funny straight after a haircut. So, uh, safe to say I was on tender hooks at Barber's chair this week. But, uh, but we're here now, so, uh, so it takes it all right. Fiona denies still to this day the haircut was involved in the initial dumping, but we'll, we'll iron that out later on, I think, yeah. Anyway, a few years later, she came crawling back. She, uh, I think she knows that she has a good dig, so, you know. But all joking aside, we've had the most amazing 12 years together. Uh, we've had lots of adventures. Uh, moving to the Australia, we survived the outback. Didn't kill each other. Very impressive. But uh, I, yeah, generally can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Uh, so, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Yeah.